What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Ghost of Tsushima. And today I'd like to talk about each uh, legend rank that you can get in game and kind of the rewards you get with these ranks. In case you are new to the game, you're kind of wondering what you get for leveling up. That's pretty much what I'm going to explain in this video. I did make a video a few days ago talking about ways to gain XP in game. There's a lot of different ways you can gain XP uh, experience throughout the, your game time. So I will link that video up in the top corner right now if you'd like to check it out. But the legend rank is pretty much just a, a different way of saying a progression system for any kind of RPG or any kind of game that you've ever played. Now once you rank up you will obtain technique points but you also unlock some other bonuses. So let's go over the different ranks that are available in game. When you first start it is the Broken Samurai. There's really no reward for this but then your very next rank will be the Wandering Samurai which will give you a max health increase and a unlock to a new technique. Then you will go to the People's Hope, which is a health increase and a new ghost weapon. The Unyielding Wind, which is a plus one resolve node. Max health increase and a new ghost weapon. Then the Shadow Samurai, which is a max health increase and a new ghost weapon. The Hero of Shishima, which is a max health increase and a new ghost weapon. And then the last two ranks are the Avenging, uh, Avenging Guardian excuse me, and the Phantom Samurai. These will both reward you with a max health increase. Now, there is one final rank that I'm not sure exactly what you have to do to get to this point. I didn't want to look into it too much to spoil anything for myself or spoil anything for anyone watching the video. And that is called the Demon's Blade. I'm assuming this must have something to do with endgame or something to do when you get close to finishing the story or to some certain point. Um, I'm not sure if any of this is going to be kind of revolving around any future stuff that's going to be in game. Who knows? And just one funny thing I did notice here as using uh, talking about ghost abilities that you get with these ranks. Don't do as I did and be kind of sitting behind a box and use your ghost ability and throw it into the side of that box. I just now noticed that was in this video. I'm sorry that was kind of funny. But uh, I just wanted to let everyone know what these ranks kind of represented and what exactly they bring to the, your character. It is a good idea to you know progress these ranks as, as quickly or as slowly as you want. But just remember, you do not have to do straight story missions to unlock, you know, XP and to gain rank. And it is a good idea to have some of these levels completed if you're going to get to Act 2. Because if you're just speeding through the story, you get up into some of these new areas in Act 2 and beyond. A lot of these enemies are a lot more difficult than they were in the first act. And so you're going to need some of those health bonuses. You're going to need some of those ghost abilities if you're a fan of using those ghost abilities. Uh, a lot of this stuff is going to help you along the way kind of as you progress through the game. Anyway, like I said, I hope this kind of gave you just a general idea of what all of these ranks represent and what they will do kind of for your character. And if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner. That way you know when all my videos go live. If you have the chance to share the video, please do. It does help out the channel a lot. If you'd like to check out my Twitter or join the Discord community, that information is down in the description along with the affiliate here on the channel, which is GT Racing. They sell gaming chairs, uh, office chairs, all that kind of stuff. Anything really pretty much to fit your gaming needs. And like I said, their information is down in the description as well. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.